Located in Lewisham, South East London, the Horniman Museum and Gardens is a perfect marriage of nature meets urban, meets culture, meets community. Hi, I'm Jo Brand, comedian, writer, presenter and actor. I've been coming to the Horniman for years. I brought my kids here sledging and yes, I did make them go into the museum as well. Celebrating human creativity and diversity through hundreds, no, thousands of years across scores of countries and indigenous cultures. But it's not just known for its amazing objects from around the world. It also has its own gardens with beautiful displays relating to the museum collections. And even then, there's more. With an aquarium, butterfly house, Sunday market, workshops and exhibitions galore. This really is one of the jewels of South London, all dedicated to celebrating cultures and bringing communities together. We're London's only museum where you can see nature and culture side by side. We also have a very young family audience, so we really feel as a museum and gardens, our mission is to look at an environment where families could explore positive changes they could make in their own lives to create a better future for the world we all share. One of my favourite things to participate in in 2021 with the Horniman was the 696 Projects and they held some amazing concerts in the bandstand and the conservatory area. And what I loved the most was that they really worked hard to engage with local artists from South East London and we've got so much talent here. So it was great for me as a local member of the community to see my own performing and talking about their experiences. One of the really important things that we're doing here at the Horniman Museum is developing planting schemes that require far less water, so drought tolerant planting schemes. We're also recycling the water from our aquarium for use within the gardens. So last year, uh, a really wonderful project that we were able to complete here at the Horniman Museum was our microforest. Forest planting over 900 trees along the busy South Circular Road. And that microforest is going to act is a particulate pollution filter, it's going to absorb CO2 and as those trees grow it's just going to create a wonderful space both for wildlife but also for people, it's really going to aid people's well-being. Personally I'm passionate about is trying to encourage young people of all ages to begin to take an active role in shaping a more positive future by getting involved in environmental campaigns that will make a difference. So the Horniman isn't just a tourist attraction, it's a place with a real mission around environmental and social responsibility. Our audience really cares about what we do, so we're working with them to shape the next generation of Horniman activities. So, with its emphasis on community action, diversity and culture, and its incredible collections and displays, I think you can see why it's been shortlisted for Art Fund Museum of the Year 2022.